Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another great maths game for you to help your student or child to practice and learn addition. Now, if this is the first time you're here, my name is Mr. K. My channel is specifically geared towards talking about anything educational and also talking about activities that can improve learning outcomes for students. Now, if you think this would be something you're interested in, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. That would be much appreciated. And remember to hit the notifications bell to be notified anytime that I load up a new video. Listen, we've got a bit to get through, so let's get into it. Let's learn, share, and teach. Okay, well today's game is called Race to 100 Cards and it's a great game for students to practice and learn addition. Now this variation is specifically aimed towards five, six, seven year olds. Now if you're looking for a different variation of this to actually um, help someone with different learning needs, stick around because after we've talked about how to play the game, we're going to talk about some different variations that are possible. Excellent. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's learn how to play Race to 100 Cards. Okay, so to play this game, all you really need is a piece of paper for each player. In this case, I've tried to save on paper. I've got one sheet and I've folded it in half, and this half is mine, and the other half is Hannah's. And also, I've given us different color markers, so it's easy for you to follow how the game's playing or played. Um, also, you need a deck of cards with all of the face cards taken out. So you need to take out the jack, the queen, and the king, and also the joker, and disregard them to one side. Now, aces in this game are one, uh, one point, or have the value of one. So, let's get things happening. Um, first player would be me. I turn that over. That's three. So I write down my three there. Then the next one is Hannah, she turns that over. Oops, she's got a nine, and she puts a nine there. Then uh, it's me, so that's a six. So three plus six equals, oops, I used the wrong one. Three plus six equals um, nine, so that's the running total so far. Then Hannah does hers, and she ends up with a five. So nine plus five is 14 so far. Go Hannah, beating Mr. K. Then Mr. K flips his, he's got a two. So what we do is we do the running total. So nine plus two is 11. Then it's Hannah's turn. Hannah turns that one. She's got a five. And that means 14 plus five is 19. So, Continue doing this until one person reaches 100. In regards to variations for this game, what you could do is get students to use a different operation, like example, multiplication, okay? Another thing you could do is possibly get the students to make the cards into fractions and then get them to add the fractions cumulatively as they go along. Uh, if you've got an idea, for a different variation of this game, please do everyone a favor and put it in the comments below for this video. That'll be greatly appreciated. Now, one more thing, stick around because I am going to share uh, the link to my Maths Games playlist on my YouTube channel. Now, if you haven't found what you were looking for with this game today, I'm pretty sure in that playlist you'll find exactly what you're looking for. Excellent. Listen, thanks for watching today. I look forward to seeing you again. Have a great day, bye. Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you've enjoyed the content or you just want to show your support, please just click the subscribe button down below. You hitting the subscribe button lets me know that you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Subscribe.